<laughs> Elliot, leave it. Leave it. I am a special ed teacher. I specialize with children that have autism. And two years ago, there was a special ed teacher that ran the program before I did. And the program is so specialized that it's really for kids that are in the most need of communication, whether it be sign language or um, picture exchange communication cards. And so she had a dog, and it was just her own golden retriever, and it was just a sweet dog, but I just saw an amazing impact that it had, not only in her kids in her classroom, but just like Elliot, school-wide. And so when I first took this job, I thought, oh, I want, you know, I want to get a dog for the program. And um, I, I researched online what, you know, the history behind ASDA. And I went to just go look at the puppies, and I ended up bringing Elliot home that day. And so ever since he was nine weeks old, I started him in summer school with the kids. Kids from general ed, kids from other special ed classes, they all they all want a piece of the piece of Elliot. So it's pretty fun to bring them out here and see other kids with other disabilities or typical developing kids. Um, just want some of his affection and want him to chase them around. What? For the kids to be able to tether themselves to him and or take him for a walk or brush him, it gives them a sense of independence, a sense of responsibility, but also that regardless of what they're doing, Elliot's with them and he's calm. And so it just um, it just brings a sense of of centeredness to the kids. You know, if he's not tending to a kid, I'm making him tend to a kid, which I think is just as important as kids seeking out their own sensory issues with Elliot. And with autism, there's so many sensory integrations that, and sensory needs that have to be met on a daily basis. And, and truthfully, Elliot meets so many of, you know, not just their tactile defense mechanisms, but, you know, allowing these ch kids to get close to an animal because that social piece for them is missing. You know, they don't want people in their space, but Elliot's okay. And he knows when we get up in the morning, I say, okay, it's time to go. He goes and gets, you know, waits by the garage door. So he knows. We gotta go, Elliot, bye. See ya. You wait, bud, you wait, you wait. Say bye. See ya. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Come on, Tasia, let's go line up. DP, line up. He's just, he's just a great addition to the class. You want him around your tummy? Oh, El sit. Just wait. Yep. Okay. Go.